Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today this is a request video. Uh, I'm going to be basically showing my Toshiba Encore 2 right, and I'm basically projecting it on a screen because I was getting an awful, awful amount of glare to try to do this. But uh, I was asked to demo some applications, in particular uh, Sculptress or, well, ZBrush, but um, I, don't, I don't have the money to really justify buying ZBrush. But Sculptress, if you don't know it, is a nice little program that basically is a digital clay program. And so I was asked to see to, to show how well it, well it performed on the Encore 2 Right Now, once again, I'm projecting it on a monitor, actually using this little handy-dandy uh, uh, cable that basically uh, is an, it was a micro HDMI cable to my HDMI cable, so I get to a monitor. Uh, and, you know, being directly this way um, allows me to basically uh, avoid all the glare that I was getting with the, with the, the camera looking at this really, really glossy screen. Uh, so, now, Sculptress, if you're not familiar with it, I say look it up. It's a really nice little program. I'm not very good with it, uh, so you have to bear with me. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna, and it's a program that likes to work with a keyboard. If you can read this stuff here, basically it says, you know, the left mouse button, middle, space, bar for things, tab, control A's. And so I have this little handy, little, little nifty little keyboard I'm gonna use with it. Uh, not ideal, but it works for some situations. So I'm gonna use this, pair it up with my Toshiba Encore, Encore 2 Write, and well, just kind of explore how this program works here. And you can decide for yourself if this is some, something you want to do on a tablet like this. Because uh, you know, once again, the Toshiba Encore 2 Write is a non-HD display. It's, uh, I think, 1280 by 800 or something like that. And then it's only got 2 gigabyte of memory and a 64 gigabyte uh, uh, storage, the um, SSD, uh, which... Ultimately, after OS is installed and everything else is installed, you don't have all that. But, you know, once again, the nice thing about it is you can throw a, a micro SD card in and do uh, expand it. So, let's get started. So, here we go. I'm going to basically take the draw tool here. And I'm going to basically start drawing with the pen on here. And I'm just going to kind of mess around with this. And we're going to basically... Move it so forth here. And well basically I'm gonna use the oops, let's see, let's keep this around here. I'm gonna use the uh, actually whoops, I wanna do that. Control Z. I just want it over here and get the uh, the pull the grab tool. I'm going to basically go to the right side and I'll just, uh, I'm going to basically increase this. There are a lot of good tutorials out there for this thing. Uh, so I'll take this and I'll just kind of expand it like so. Uh, and make it a little smaller. And I'll start doing, doing some weird things here like this. I have no idea what I'm making, but I'm making something. Oh, it looks like a fat manatee. All right. I don't know, a little fishy thing or something over here. So you can see, with well, symmetry on, you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. All right, let's see. Let's go and, um, oops. Well, the one thing about it is that it's not really meant to, it wasn't optimized for touch display so uh, me putting my hand on the tablet has been kind of jostling it around so it's not ideal in that sense all right so oops that's the mask sorry uh, whereas I wanted to, to I just don't want to use, I wanted to do want to use that tool mm -hmm. undo that out all right I actually wanted to go and use one of the other tools, like the, uh, let's see, the draw tool. There we go. Hold the Alt key down so I can make it indents. All right. So that's my kind of weird fishy thing. So let's go and scale this guy a little bit. I'll do that. Uh, that's not what I want either. All right. Um, let's go back and use the uh, pinch tool. Let's get some, some detail going here. Oh, 
let's see. So I think some more creases in there. Now let's go back to use a draw tool. Let's see. Oh, let's use the inflate tool. Play around the inflate tool a little bit. Let's add some bulbous things here. Make those inflate a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. And I'll use the pinch tool here. Actually, I'll use the draw tool and I'll hold the alt key down so I can get some flatten that out a little bit. There we go. Some teeth coming in. Nice. Right, so I'll use the pinch tool here. Oops. So that's the one funny thing is that we, with the touch screen, uh, I can easily basically well, I can easily mess things up. So let's see. Spacebar now and get some of the controls going. Actually, up, up the strength a little bit so I can get in there, do some work on that part of it. Actually, get some. Let's see, I can change the size of it over here too, or from here. Of the strength. All right. Actually, I want to use the Alt key to get some is that digging in. Uh, that's looking weird. All right, that's not really what I want. Next, what I'll do is um, instead of this one, I'm going to open up one that I actually worked on earlier when I was messing around with. So let's open this one. This test file here, and I'm going to I'm going to do a new scene with it. Oops, I don't want to do that. I was going to import it in. I don't want to do that. All right, fine. I imported it in. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. I can see it kind of merged the other one in there, so it is visible. Let's see. What can we do? Move it in. Let's see. Shift. All right. Well. And you see, I kind, of, I kind of did some work on that. It's all weird. So let me, let me just new, create a new document here. And uh, let's see, I just open that up and then I'll just choose that again and not import it. I'll make it into it's just a new scene with it. Yeah, I'll lose the changes. All right, so there. So this is what I did earlier. Uh, and see, there's a bit more detail in it. You can see it kind of had uh, some ridges going over there. Uh, as I can see, that the, the program actually does work pretty good on. This tablet, uh, it, 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 um, I can't say for sure if, if, if once it gets more and more complicated, but you can see from the wireframe, there's the wireframe that uh, it's quite complicated, but yet it still can move can move pretty easily. You know? And so, if I wanted to pick uh, work on some more, I could uh, the draw tool, you know, work on size a little bit, like say here, kind of add to this part here. Let me shut it down a little bit more. I'll do the grab tool here. I'm going to kind of uh, take that spot. Oh, Alright, not going to let me do that. I'll just draw on it. Once again, you, you know, folks are probably a lot better than, than me at this program, so add some detail here, some some weird splotches on this guy. So as you can see, the tablet does handle this quite nicely. Now, once again, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not an advanced user of this. I was kind of playing around with it. 
uh, and you know if I get a little better at it I can make some better ones but hopefully this is a short video over here will probably at least give you an idea that that uh, the Toshiba does seem to handle this program quite nicely uh, I'm able to rotate around add to it you see I, I use the, the grab tool and pulled some pieces out of it and you know, basically once again you hit W you see how dense the mesh is and still able to kind of move it around quite nicely so there you have it uh, a look at using Sculptress which is sort of like a, I guess a free free lighter version of ZBrush uh, on the Toshiba Encore 2 right and it seems to handle it quite nicely uh, you know, I, I didn't explore any of the paint or uh, materials tools because I'm not all that familiar with them so uh, so in a future video I might explore them a little bit once I get more comfortable with the tool itself but hopefully this answers some questions about whether how well the device uh, the tablet can handle um, this type of program so uh, if any other questions about this or something I haven't shown about the program you know, feel, please feel free to send me a note and let me know what you think or if something you know, I need to do better you know, you know leave some comments for me thanks for watching